Goody baby, it is Rita, it is Romizzy, and I am here with a quick. I feel like this is simple. Like, I feel like if you follow along with me, girl, you can do this. So, like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy this video. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna be starting off with my brows today, and this is the only thing you need for brows. You're gonna need your concealer that you use for your under eye. Which I'm going in with the Elf Hydrating Concealer in the shade Deep Chestnut. I adore them so much. Like, they just do what they need to do. I'm going in with my Milani 2-in-1 Foundation um, in the shade Espresso. Let me look and see how the fuck they spelled that. So, they did spell it like coffee. I think in my product list, I spelled it like, I don't know. It like auto spelled it for me with like an X. But in the shade Espresso, then a spoolie. I always gonna need a spoolie. I'm going in with a dark brown pencil by LA Colors. Um, literally, just get a dark brown pencil from the beauty supply store. And then I have this fluffy brush by Real Techniques. This is, I don't know what brush, but just something dense. And just a flat brush. Now this is my sis brush. Um, I literally love this brush ever since she sent it to me like it has been my go-to brush for my brows um i used to use the morphe 421 brush i don't want to talk like too much in circles because i want this to be straight to the point but if you can't find this the morphe 421 i believe is another good brush to sculpt your brows so let's get into it so yeah first thing you want to do y'all is just brush your brow hair it's going out the same way I feel like we haven't did no girl, no, um, strictly, like, get to it, makeup routine in a minute, so I'm really low-key excited. No matter my lips, girl, I have to grease some hoes up, it's cold as hell, my skin, child. Let me just take a little excess hair off. That makes for good brows. Like, if you feel like your brows not coming out the way you want them to, nine times out of ten, it's because... You need to get them and chop off the little, uh, the little side check hairs, okay? Because you know they always in the way, so. <laughs> side check hairs on the brows, girl. Now we are about to shape our brows. Y'all, I never ever start off inside my brow. I just follow along my natural brow line. Really slow strokes, because... I feel like when you try to do one line, sometimes it won't connect to the line that's on the top. And that's what it's all about. I got my line at the bottom, and now I'm about to connect the line that I'm drawing with my eyebrow pencil from the top to the bottom. It should always connect. And y'all see my shit is a little thin. And that is when I go in and fill in. <laughs> Cut the check, bitch. I need my money. I need my money for these rhymes. And I'm not playing. My baby trying to stick his toys out here. For the front of my bra, I brush up. And then as I start to get like midway through, I will start to brush towards my ear. And by brushing, that just shows you like how much you need to fill in like brushing is key because you can see like the spots that's still a little patchy and slight and yeah you don't want that so ta-da one brow done one more to go he literally destroys my living room every day. I didn't expect us to be cool. It's like, it's not giving. So now I'm about to go in with a little bit of my concealer. I always warm my product up on the back of my hand, y'all. I just love for my product to glide. So I always put it on the back of my hand just so it can get warm. Going in with my foundation on the back as well. And I am starting from the brow arch. So I always tell y'all, 
rest your hand somewhere so that you will only be moving your wrist. Like, I just feel like that's a key point in knowing how to do your brows. Like, you do not have to use your whole hand. Like, just use your wrist. So, just a little bit goes a long way. Put that along the brow arc. And now the rest of the brow just consists of foundation. So the front of my brow, I'm going in with foundation. You always want to make sure your lines connect. Like I made sure that line of concealer connected with this line of foundation. I made sure my brow hairs connect. I mean, I made sure when I use the pencil that my brows connected with that. Like, honestly, it's damn near about you connecting with the makeup at this point. <laughs> I'm going to try to be able to get into it. Let me turn it down a little bit. When I first started doing makeup, literally, like, people was doing their brows so many different ways. And that's why this way might not work for y'all, but it might work for some. I just feel like I try to, um, I feel like I have morning voice, like, <laughs> take me out to dinner. Like, no. So, um, yeah, I just feel like to each his own, and hopefully this can work for one of y'all. Okay, y'all, so now that the brows is on, we is simply about to buff this shit in, okay? So I always just kind of start from the top just because I don't like for that concealer and stuff to touch my brush before I blend out the darker shade. So we just about to blend that on out. And then we're going to work our all way from the front to the end. And you just patting, you want a brush that's literally going to just press that stuff into the skin. You don't really want like a loose brush. Because then the product starts going a little bit of everywhere. Now I feel like just after this, after you get the brows down pat, girl, the face is up from now. Like that's just how I feel. So, with the left of the concealer that's on our hand, I'm about to prime my lid with that because I'm going to use that as my shadow base. But yeah, I feel like everybody got their way of doing their makeup. Like the step, this was a step that was easy for me because it was like just working down and then around my face, which was perfect because like I just needed some type of structure. He just cannot be and do nothing without me. Like it's crazy. I'm his best friend. <laughs> so I'm gonna do like a hot pink eye. And I'm excited about it, like hot pink and purple almost. So I'm going in with the James Charles palette. And I'm going to be using this color and this color and that one. So all three of those are about to be my lid color. And I'm excited. I'm excited. Because this is simple, but it's still like sexy. Almost like a hot pink with a smoky eye. So I'm going in with one of my favorite brushes. This is the Morphe M505 brush. 
and girl we was just about to grab that product grab it on up okay and then i'm about to place it directly on my lid i'm not gonna press it in like to the point where i'm gonna give myself a black eye but i am gonna press it in to the point where the color can pick up because for the most part all morphe palettes have great pigmentation so so pretty and when you pat it on lightly it prevents the rest of the colors from being patchy so be mindful of that And once it's on a lid, I'm going to just start to kind of blend out a little bit. Because like I said, we just want that color to show, girl. And it is actually really, really pretty. Like, super duper pretty. So this part that I'm doing right here, I just kind of went into those other two um purples that i sent y'all to just kind of darken it up and give it a little bit of dimension so for the lid strictly you pack and when you get to your crease you kind of um just move your brush back and forth or circular motions because you do not want that product to be stuck in one spot in your damn crease you want it to look like oh girl i've been blending this for 10 hours like let's get into it so on your lid you pat in your crease you swipe <laughs> okay and on to the next eye <laughs> Perfect. So for fallout, you just want to grab you some white. I'm using the clean and clear lemon wipes. Oh, they smell so good. I was obsessed with the um watermelon ones, but the lemon ones just smell so good. Small baby in the back room. Yeah. And now we just about to bring some girl shape to these eyes because that pink got me looking like Miss Mary Mac. So now I'm about to go in with hold on y'all. Now I'm gonna go in with my liner and I think I'm gonna just give me like a little cute little wing nothing too major because this part is simply optional like y'all can pop on the lash and get the fuck but me I just I need my lash I mean I need my wing so I'm about to go ahead and do that and I always kind of start from the front and then I just try to make a line going all the way back as sharp as possible Cause that's what you want to do you want to make sure that first line you create is so clean like because once you have that top line down pack the second line ain't shit you just connect it from the corner of your eye to the point of the first line and fill it in Okay, now I am about to go in with some mascara. Y'all know I've been doing my lashes kind of last. Um, when I go to set with my setting spray, sometimes it will literally get on the lashes. And um, it'll give them like a totally different look. So I've been putting my lashes on last. Now I'm going in with my Pond's Moisture um, Complex Color moisturizer this is a beauty cream y'all like my face is a dry ass mess in the winter time so i really 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 be needing this it's like it's crazy okay so on to concealer i'm about to conceal just how i would um like regularly under eye 
forehead, nose, and then I'm gonna do these lines on the side of my mouth. Yes, baby. Yes. And I always felt this um, just being a good way to apply makeup because you don't have to apply so much. Like, now I do it totally different and um, I do it just for the, the, the longevity probably because, nope, I'm lying. Because this way lasts just as long. I probably just do the other way because of the quickness. <laughs> Uh, I definitely feel like I do my makeup way quicker uh, when I do the foundation first now. But I wouldn't mind coming back to my old ways. So, you really just kind of applying the concealer all over your highlighted points. And you don't necessarily have to do your nose either. You could simply just do your under eye. And call it one but me girl I'd be looking for a little extra minutes. but let me know if y'all want just a super basic and I just show y'all kind of how I would do it like brushing and stuff like that like let me know And now we are about to blend out, but I have this one. This is the Real Techniques one. Love them. And when you do these lines, it's just going to create structure throughout your face. And it is super duper simple. So I do want y'all to keep in mind. Like, just the two lines if you feel like you want to do them. If not, that's fine too. Like I said, you can just do the under eye and it'll be fine. I'm literally one person whose phone is always there. Like, what the fuck? You would think it'll be just charged up. Like, I don't know. Because I'm really, really on my phone. So... It's like I don't need to just keep throwing it on the charger, keep throwing it on the charger. But girl, then I lose track of... Girl, you haven't put this phone on the charger all day. Because it's going to down you when you go outside the pool. Okay, so let the five head out. We is about to go in with our Milani 2-in-1 foundation. I always use three pumps, like always. And we are about to go in with foundation on the parts that do not have concealer. Which I feel like is just super duper like ABC123. So, right up in here, girl. Love that. I probably didn't even need three pumps for this method. Which is perfect. That's why I might switch back. Girl, cut me back on some coin, okay? Spending this damn money so quick on this damn foundation. All around the concealed parts. So that is how it's looking right now. And now we are about to buff this into the skin. Y'all already know I'm going in with my Instapot brush. I'm going to start right here and work my way around. When you get to that concealer part, you just want to pat the two together. Make everything blend as one. So as you can see, girl. One side is blended and one side is not. Gotta make sure you go down your neck. That is so important. Oh, I'm breaking out. I'm probably gonna come home. Oh, 
And then we are about to go in and do the size of the nose. So I just used the, um, this is just a wet and wild brush, y'all. Just a fluffy brush. And I just use whatever little access foundation I got left and I go down the sides of my nose. Just to kind of snatch it a little bit, girl. I did say this is gonna be like an everyday natural with a little pop of color, something you could kind of do for Valentine's Day. But yeah, super basic. Like I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. This for like beginners slash. I'm ready to do a little more. But like, if y'all want just beginning beginner, drop below because I got you. So now we is about to move on to setting, which is literally like you're closer to the end than you fucking think, girl. We didn't did our eyes. Well, partially did our whole eyes. We didn't did the entire face, and now it is time to set. <clears throat> so for me, I love just that under eye brightness. So this is a step to each his own as well. Y'all already know. I done told y'all this a million times. I'm about to go in with a little bit of the warm honey underneath my eyes um simply because girl yeah i don't get no sleep like i told y'all my baby woke me up at 7 30 so anything that could bring or knock a few years off my age girl i don't mind looking 36 so <laughs> that's why like that's where knock four years off so i'm going in with my beauty sponge and just dapping that on in but as soon as i finish with one eye i am about to instantly set with my powder and the powder that i'm using is the 330 um fit me powder my maybelline like yes that under eye brightness is just something that i need like i need it <laughs> Blend out any little harsh edges I see. We want to set all the parts that have the concealer. You don't want to do your entire face with the lighter shade. So this is 330. It's closer to my shades that I use to conceal with. So that's why I set my under eye with it. Once you figure out your shades, y'all, I really feel like you got it. Like, you done like you can do anything once you figure out your foundation shades because i've ran through so many products trying to figure out my damn foundation shade and i was wondering like what's going on with my makeup but seriously once you find out what works for you you stick with it like literally um i feel like that's why i'm so hooked on the milani 2-in-1 right now because i didn't went through red one i done went through fit me don't get me wrong i love all of them but i'm talking about something that i don't have to tweak like i used to use the wet and wild i used to use the studio fx like mac um nars i done went through some then you don't want to keep wasting your damn money on foundation i don't give a fuck that shit is so expensive like no so once you find something that works for you and if it happens to be like affordable Bitch, that's a deal. That's a win-win situation, okay? Yeah, definitely try to find, like, your shades and what's working for you and how it wears throughout the day. When I used to wear the MAC, I swear I used to tell people all the time, like, damn, I'll put it on, and by the end of the day, I would be dead-ass orange. It was truly giving fucking oompa loompa. Like, MAC, what the fuck I do to you? <laughs> what did I do to you to make you turn me orange? Like... So, um, I had to be careful with that. And sometimes, like, everybody does have a shade that they use for the winter that they do for the summer. I just started tweaking, man, girl. Once you start getting old, you don't got time for that shit. You just work with it. Like, shit, forget it. <laughs> Okay, now we are about to move on to the under eye um and i'm just gonna do a little black and smoke it out with pink and i'm going in with my morphe palette again and using that black shade that's in the palette 
So I'm using that black color in the Morphe palette. Super duper, this is optional as well. Y'all can pop them lashes on and go out like this. I done did it plenty of times. I love not having my under eyes smoked when it comes to certain things, but girl, I'm just in love with this damn black liner at the bottom. Don't ask me why. So I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. Like so. I'm about to go in with that pink color and press it into the bottom. So y'all on Twitter they was debating like um about Valentine's Day and the dudes were saying like the gifts if y'all want a room that's us taking the cheap route and it's just like if it's so cheap why not do both so girl that was the little debate that was going on i literally sat there and read them to the whole damn feed um of what people were saying and you want to know what all right even if you got a girl who is into like just a lot of gifts and this is in the third like why not stop and get her like a bunch of balloons and some flowers to go with it like you think because you want me a Chanel bag, bitch, I don't want flowers. I still want flowers. Like, I feel like dudes just kind of miss that point of, like, a girl feeling, like, adored. Like, give me what I want. Like, I want the Chanel and I want flowers and I want 100 balloons. Like, if that's the cheap route, then just take you an extra little couple of dollars and go get me a bunch of roses. And thanks for both. Like... I love thoughtful dudes, like, they will always have a little soft spot in my heart, like, because I'm super thoughtful, so when I be seeing people go all out for their girls on Valentine's Day and decorate the room and shit like that, I literally love that because, like, dudes be feeling like they too cool for school, but if they homie wanted flowers for his birthday, bitch, guess what, they'll roll over the truck, because, you know, niggas love they fucking homie, so, <laughs> girl, it's just like, give me that same energy. And I just love the dudes that go above and beyond for that girl. It is just so cute. Like, bitch, it's cute. So, now that I got my bottom lash line smoked out, it is time to dust this product away. So, I'm only kind of going to do the um, under eye and the forehead. And then, once I start to set my entire face, you will start to see kind of this stuff like dissolve. But I don't want to lose the structure. So... <laughs> Niggas is just so like, uh-uh. I need the gifts in, I need, I need the gifts in the theatrics, like period. <laughs> like a fucking period, okay? Now I'm going in with my 360. And a fluffy brush. This is the blush brush by Real Techniques. And I'm about to set pretty heavily because I need this makeup to last. Damn it, all day. I have some shit to do. Super duper cute. And now for blush. I literally I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this pink today. Just because I want to give like that rosy like Valentine's Day look. So I'm excited because I've never used this damn pink. <laughs> so pray for me, y'all. Oh, you see what that does to the face, though? I'm not mad at the pink. I'm really not. <laughs> it literally just brings so much warmth and, like, cuteness to the face. Like, I can't even complain. I feel like once you find your right blush tool, game changer. Because, girl, I was not a blush girl, like, at all. And I know I'm going to look crazy with the blush, but... It's really because I want to literally give like 
girl i'm a fucking heart okay he loved me <laughs> so um i feel like when i didn't know what blush i liked i was so against it but once i found like i used to use this coral color and it was actually an eyeshadow so pretty then i started using the um juvia's place for some blush like as well and i liked it a lot and then i kind of i had these ordered already um the Saharan palette blush palettes by Juvia's place so i kind of just started um playing with them and this combination has been my combination for so fucking long um i'm in love with it and i'm so happy that i came across it <laughs> because i feel like once you found your blush oh girl it's up from now okay so now we are about to set yeah now we are about to set i'm going in with my mac fix plus spray love that for us so now i'm about to apply some lashes y'all these my look my look my little beauty supply so lashes too love them so cute because i needed to tone it down just a little bit girl from um my big ones because I did kind of want you to still see that I have on um, pink shadow. You okay, boo? I love you. When he say yes, it is just the cutest. Yes. He be like, I okay. <laughs> it's so fucking cute. I okay. Like what? I'm tired. <laughs> My baby is truly growing up on me. And girl, I gotta have another one. I gotta have me another baby. I don't want him to be the only kid. Like, I just don't. I don't. I would. I would have wanted my little sister. Like, uh, am I happy that I have a little sister? I'm so happy. Um, I'm happy that I have an older cousin that's like a brother to me. Like, I'm just happy. So, I gotta get him some siblings. Even though he got a sibling, he got a bunch of siblings that's close to him in age. But I just feel like you be needing that bond. Like, same womb. Like, you my mama's. I'm my mama's. Like, let's get it going. Okay, y'all, lashes is on. Literally, I'm looking so good. Girl, it's not over yet, but still, like, when you watch this video, make sure you watch it and you follow along with me because I feel like you will just get it so much better. Like, girl, when you go in the bathroom to do your makeup, sit at your vanity table, girl, just pop me up. Pop me up and follow along with me, bitch. And I promise at the end of that video, you're going to be looking like this. Period. Anyone long. So, yeah, I'm going to show y'all what I'm wearing. And then I will be back to do my lips with y'all. I literally forgot to add a little color in my tear duct. So, I'm going in with my Striking Beauty Cosmetics palette. And I'm going to just use that silver. I mean, not silver, but that champagne color. Because I literally love a shimmer in my tear duct. So pretty. Now we are complete. BRB. Okay, y'all. So for the outfit, I'm literally wearing this OS Barbie 2 piece. <clears throat> so cute. With the matching pants. So adorable. And then I think I'm gonna pair it with my McQueen. Just because I don't want I don't want it to take away from my outfit. <laughs> and these are super cute. And still like got the little pink in the back. It's still cute. And I feel like they just go perfect. So um that is what I am about to put on. I don't know if I'm gonna do um like a puffer coat or do I want to kind of do like denim so I really won't know
Always gonna be my go to. Always, okay. Alrighty, y'all. So I am all dressed. Girl, it is actually I'm on decent time. It's 11. I want to stop and get me some coffee. So, um, yeah, I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all try it, please tag me on Twitter or um Instagram at Role Model. And yeah, I love y'all. I will see y'all in the next one.